you have been trying so hard to find your purpose, to work towards your purpose. And on several occasions, you believe that you found your purpose and you started working on things, um, taking the steps, you know, necessary, necessarily to fulfill certain things. Um, and you seem to either hit dead ends or it seems as if you add all these things to a list that just make your day busier and busier which leads to making things a bit chaotic for you or overwhelming in a sense to where it seems that you'll never get things done and you feel that you're on the right path because you feel that you found your purpose so you're working towards these things, but you feel yourself spreading yourself thin in a billion different directions, and it seems like you're not making much progress. The Lord wants you to know that you need to just rest in Him. Rest in Him. Take things a step at a time. Don't rush yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. Um, when you When you truly keep the Lord at the center of everything and you keep him first, everything will flow organically. It'll flow naturally. There won't be that sense, that sense of overwhelm. Um, you, you just won't feel that. See, many times we mess up because we, we feel that we have God first, but it, in reality of the situation, we put ourselves first. In certain aspects, we may be seeking what our plans are, what we think may be the best outcome, um, what we think we need to do in order to get said outcome. When in reality, we have to keep God at the center. In doing those things, that's putting ourselves at, at the center of everything. But we must remember that it's far bigger than us. Our purpose on this earth is far greater than us, far bigger than just us. We were created by God for God. Only God knows the purpose in which he created each and every one of us. And the best way for us to discover that is by going to ask our creator. That's just like, let's just say, for instance, I hand you an invention that I just created. And you don't know what to do with this invention. It's something that you've never seen before. It's, you know, you don't know what to do with it. You don't know how it operates, you know, what it needs to operate. You have no clue what to do with it. How are you going to find out what to do with it? Are you going to just play around with it and play around with it, I guess, assume, speculate as to what you believe you're supposed to do with it? Or are you going to go to the creator? You're going to come and ask me, what is this? What am I supposed to do with this? How do I use it? Or go to the instruction manual, the owner's manual. Those are the only ways you're going to find out how to operate and use a creation for its purpose. You have to go to the creator. Just like we need to go to God instead of going to ourselves and seeking and questioning ourselves as to what we think will work best. How do we think this is going to operate best? What do we think we can do in order to get from point A to point B when God is the only one that knows? He's the only one that can show us perfectly how to get there. Um, so I pray that this word blesses someone and encourages someone. I love you all. God loves you all. God bless you all. Talk to you soon.